Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the AV8B Harrier and we're looking at the brand new feature, NSEC. It stands for Sequential or Non-Sequential Waypoint Routing. And it's going to be used on attack, ingress and or egress. There are two methods we can use, sequential or non-sequential. We will show you both. For them to make sense, I'm going to explain the mission. We are starting at this airbase here. We have waypoints 1, 2 and 3 three being the target building that we will target designate. For our egress, we have waypoints four, five, and six, six being the RTB. The idea of our sequential waypoint routing is that we take off, it allows us to follow to waypoint one, two, three, deploy our bombs, and then that's as far as sequential routing goes. At that point, we can navigate normally to our RTB or wherever we want to go. Non-sequential routing is a little bit different. What that will do is take us from our starting point here directly to our target, so skipping points one and two, and then non-sequential routing will take us from target point directly to our end of our trail. In this case, it's gonna be waypoint six. First, sequential NSEC. So we're gonna cycle. ESHD. First thing to do is to set up our sequential NSEC. So we're going to go to data, which is where we set up the NSEC. It's slightly hidden here at the moment with font sizes, but it now says NSEC there. Click on it. Now all we have to tell it in terms of sequential routing is the terminal point. That's always going to be the target. So term on the ODU. Out of interest, we can also reset here if we make a mistake and we want to reset back to zero. So terminal I clicked on. And we're going to type in the waypoint. Well, the waypoint for the target is going to be 03. So 03, enter. I just want to quickly check it saved. So I'm going to egress. Term, term is 03. Next, data to get out. And we want to now toggle on NSEC. And you can see what that's going to do now is with this lavender color line, it's going to route us from waypoint 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 and allow us to put our bombs down. Next thing out of interest is that now we can have waypoint one selected or two or whatever, but we can click designate waypoint here and it will, it knows that the target, because we've told it the target is at three, it will now designate that as the target. Next, we're quickly gonna set our weapons up. That's everything set up, that's gonna fly it. We're gonna simulate a low attack, pretend they're SAMs or whatever, threats. Right, we're going to make sure that we've got waypoint one selected. And we have, we're going to get to nav mode to navigate to waypoint one. Follow the heading tape on the HUD and we've got our distance there to waypoint uh, one of nine miles. Okay, we've reached waypoint one. We're going to increment. Always difficult for me to get to. Waypoint two, off we go. It's great how you can see the track here so you can really visualize. I know we've got course line symbology here, but we can really see the track of the uh, waypoints easily. Reach waypoint two, let's increment again. Waypoint three, we're now gonna go air to ground mode. That's all automatic, and then I'm gonna um, have my target now selected. Again, follow the marker on the heading tape. And we should get our attack symbology. Oh, it's all there and set up, full power. Let's go for the run. Bombs away. So it's already destroyed from our practice run, but we should be on target and on target. That is as far as NSEC goes for sequential. So in this case, I would go back to navigation mode and I'm going to turn my NSEC off because that's the end of it. And I'm then going to cycle to waypoint four and fly the rest of the chain to my base, which will just be done normally. Right, now we're going to show non-sequential, which is a bit more exciting. So let's repeat the sequence. This time we're going to use our ingress and our egress. So our ingress is going to take us from essentially where we are now to our target point. So we press ingress there. Our scratch pad, we're going to put target 3, which is our target point. Enter. And our egress is where we want our egress to finish, which is going to be waypoint 6, which is going to be the friendly egress base. So, 06. Enter. I always like to make sure they're saved, so 03, 06. Out of data. Check it. So what we've done now is, if I scale out, is it's now taking me directly from where I am to the target, then to the RTB base, so ingress, egress in orange. Note also that with NSEC selected, we can only select the, if you like, waypoint of interest. So waypoint three, or waypoint, oh sorry, yeah, waypoint three, or waypoint six. It's not gonna allow us to select five, four, three, two, and so on. Again, it knows which of these points is uh, the target, so all I've gotta do, I could even go and select six look, and 
I can waypoint designate and it knows that is the target. It's not going to be fooled. So let's go and set the rest of the jet up quickly. So I'm going to go to nav now and it's going to take me directly to waypoint 3, the target waypoint that it's aware of. Technically you could go straight into air to ground now and it will go straight to your target but in terms of symbology you can see we've got waypoint 3 selected, we've got our distance to it, we've got our target marker there and we've got our heading tape symbology. Push into air to ground. Pushing air to ground. 80 seconds. 30 seconds. Cat bombs away. Boom. Next I'm going to go increment waypoint with NSEC selected still. And it's going to take me to 6, which is our RTB. We're going to go to nav mode, follow the heading marker. You can see about 13 miles to get to our RTB, which is essentially waypoint 6. And that's it. Hope that's useful. See you later.